Hi everyone, welcome back to Max TV Original. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the really cool toy that I've got recently for my projects. It's a dispenser. So usually you can use this uh, with a CNC, you know, for dispensing glue or dispensing solder paste, uh, or you can use it manually. So this is the device itself. Um, I've got it uh, from eBay for around $150 Australian dollars. Uh, it came looking like it's used it is brand new it came in a sealed box with a you know proper box and everything and all the accessories it doesn't look like it's been used but it it looks like used so there's a few little bits and pieces it looks a bit scratched and dirty on the top here but uh, let's go over the device first so the interface uh, is we've got the power button we've got the single shot which is same as a controller like a pedal or the handheld controller then we've got the dispensing time so this is the time that the air will be active pushing the glue or solder paste out this is the interval so if you're holding down the dispense button like say this one it'll be dispensing it for say seven milliseconds and then wait for two seconds then start dispensing again so this way you don't have to keep pressing every single time you can just hold down the button and it'll do dispensing every couple of seconds uh, that's the dispensing time, so that displays what's on here. That's exactly the same, just in digital format. Uh, then we've got the air pressure adjustment, but if you're using a small air compressor, the air compressor would already have that. So you just open this to full and let the air compressor control the pressure. Uh, but anyway, to adjust it, you have to pull it first, and then you can turn it. Next one is we've got vacuum. So this device does not create vacuum. It uses the air pressure difference to create the suction back. So that's um, minus when it's fully shut. Uh, this will just dispense it and stop. If you start opening it up, it will let some air out. So if you're having a small compressor and it's inside, uh, bear in mind, it's gonna be, you know, letting the air out even if it's standby mode. So if you, for example, just dispense it and you leave it alone, this will slick the air pressure out. So your compressor will be pretty much on all the time. Um, then that's the output itself and we've got the uh, PSI display or kilograms per cent square centimeter in red that's the front of it so that's the main line pressure by the way uh, in the back of it we've got um, yes I did open it up <laughs> if you can see uh, we'll have a look inside as well we've got the air in this is the main uh, compressor input uh, drip I don't know why they call it a drip it's a dip switch a foot switch or a handheld switch and the mains in so this switch uh, the manual that it came with is actually all in Chinese so I had to print my own little uh, manual like that and uh, it's, it's doubled and that tells you all the positions so you can have it either in my position which is um, off on 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 it's um, says engage foot switch spits out continuously according to the preset duration step on foot switch again to stop uh, that's not the case actually it, you hold it down you hold the switch down it'll be dispensing and you let it go and it'll stop now let's have a look what we've got in the box so here is the box it came in as you can see it's a genuine box glue dropper they call it a dispensing controller uh, with this annoying sticker so in the box we've got um, manual in Chinese even though it has prof uh, professional dispensing controller it's all in Chinese there is no English in it at all uh, then we have a foot switch which is just a three and a half jack mono jack with a switch inside as you can see it's pretty dirty as well even though it's new it doesn't look like it's been used uh, we've got um, two of the attachments for the syringes one is plastic and one is metal so if you know those syringes that you they come with a filled with a solder paste and it doesn't have a plunger so let's say there's a solder paste in there that's what they're for so you attach it like that twist it on and now you've got a dispensing um, syringe uh, just a little cable it's a jack three and a half to jack three and a half so it's your audio cable literally audio cable and that connects to a little button for the syringe holder so it's just again just a button there's nothing special about it so if you don't want to use a foot switch you can just put the syringe inside there uh, plug that into here and now you can use the button to dispense your 
uh, liquid or glue, whatever he's dispensing. Then this is a high pressure pipe that goes into it. It's very distinctively different to the those ones. Um, this it's really tough, so you can tell it's it can handle the high pressure. So um, it came with this 10 millimeter adapter. I've attached the rest of it. It did can't come with those clamps, but uh, the compressor and and the converter from the compressor. I think it's three quarters inch or something uh, to 10 millimeter pipe. I had to get all that from local hardware store. They do include the small to 10 millimeter pipe converter, but that's it. So that was bought from local hardware store. Uh, we've got a little stand. We've got an extra syringe. A little stand that looks cheap and nasty as well. I've got this. I have no idea what that is. Literally, I, I even think it's from some other device or something. It's just doesn't fit in here in any way. Uh, power cable and that's it. So this is all the tips it came with. Uh, they easily attach to the syringe. You can just grab any of them and you just twist it on just like that and that's it and it's attached. So the interesting thing about them, unlike the ones you buy on eBay, uh, which is a normal, you know, is either plastic nozzles like this. They've got nothing on the ends. Let me just zoom in so you can see it really up close. So those nozzles, as you can see, just a standard nozzles uh, with nothing on. There's different sizes. So you've got the largest one and three. The other ones, however, this one plastic looks like it's a cannula that you, they use in the ambulance with the end of it just cut off. Again, there's... Uh, few of them uh, that's a small one and then there's also ones that have something it's a metal one with a piece of cannula sticking out of it so it's a metal tube with a plastic tube coming out of the end of it so then there is also the interesting ones like that they have a really flat end as you can see and they will dispense flat material so that you can see the end of it it's just a little squished one uh, that's again the normal cannula one and they have a really tiny ones with a flat end so just like that as you can see it's just a tiny flat ended one that would be handy for stuff okay so let's uh, have a look inside of the device itself so I've got the screws removed there's only two screws in the back and then the lid just slides open just like that inside we can see uh, very simple thing. So we've got the microcontroller that controls all the time. We've got the dip switches here. Standard uh, 3.5 TS plug. Transformer, so that's nice to see, at least not a switch mode power supply. Uh, we've got the main air coming in and it separates one, goes to the uh, to the gauge itself and the second one goes to, um, I believe, hang on, to the vacuum. And from vacuum, it goes to the uh, solenoid. So vacuum's got a third port out here, as you can see. It's actually quite loose. So the again, so what happens is when it's when the solenoid stops, the air needs to, as it was flowing from the main line, you know, into through this into there, it needs to go somewhere. So it pumps slightly back. Uh, it, that's how the vacuum works. So there is no vacuum actually in there. Uh, that's our pressure control, so tubing is very basic as you can see. It's just one solenoid that, cons that is controlling everything. Uh, there's not much else to see inside. Yeah, that's, that's about it. So, I think it's time to uh, put it to the test and try. I've got a circuit board here that I need to install the components onto. They've been removed because I've been trying to identify the fault with it. So anyway, so I'm going to try using that to dispense some solder paste onto it. Let's give it a go. I'm just going to pump the compressor up and give it a go. So it took me a little bit to calibrate uh, the machine. I'm using, uh, well, I've actually got 60 psi in at the moment and I've set time for 14 and interval is 7. So uh, it works pretty good, so let's try a little bit on, say, this one. Those are big pads, that's so I'm doing the double. So, yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Let me zoom in for you so you can see. 
Let's try doing this chip, for example. As you can see, it's nice, precise dots. I'm just uh, using a monitor when I'm doing it, so I'm, usually I'd be above it. But I'm using a monitor, so it's a bit difficult for me to navigate. Uh, let's try something bigger. Let's try, try this diode. Yeah. I wasn't doing it. I think the nozzle may be blocked because I'm using the old paste that I haven't refurbed yet. Um, but it is doing its job pretty well. Yeah. So if we want to output a large amount, what, I've, what I'll do is I'll just change this to 9. And now if I hold the button, it'll just create the pressure in. And yeah, the nozzle is blocked. That's why it's... All right, let me clean the nozzle and I'll do the board and then I'll show you the finished result. Once I was above the board, I was able to do it really quickly. As you can see, it dispenses really nicely. So just to show you again, I'm going to use those resistors here because I don't need to be precise and they're missing some solder. So uh, let's go for those two. Again, once I'm not above the board, it slows down. Uh, well, my work has slowed down because I can't really see what I'm doing since I'm showing it to you. But yeah, it, it does work really well. Oh, I don't have any pressure left. <laughs> That's probably why. And I don't want to turn the compressor on because it is 4 a.m. in the morning. But yeah, so here is the result, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this machine, so, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, review of that um, 983A by BS, or something BS, 983A machine. Uh, it's, it's great. It's a lot better than sitting there with a syringe, you know, and trying to do this with a syringe. It's automatic. You push the button or a pedal, and it does all this for you. You can see here, I've put like six, uh, five dots on here on that big pad here, and you can see that they all really nice dots. So that's it. My name is Max. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.